What? I didn't even see it. What happened? Oh, well, there's your problem. Whoa, that's no bueno. We're Jenny and Davis. We fly through hurricanes for research and build furniture for fun. A while ago, we came up with a business plan to sell quality furniture, which brings people together. Follow along as we build our business empire. Empire? Yes, Jenny, big goals. Okay, we're starting an empire. Maybe one day it'll span beyond the garage. What day is it? Board day! How many boards are we doing today? Uh, well, we got an order for two um, to fulfill and then another seven. So in total, we are doing nine all this morning. What are the other seven? The other seven ooh, are for future clients. Basically, we're sending out one to say, hey, this is us. Look at me. I'm pretty. And then we call them back later after they've got their board. What's the blue box? The tape? No, in the laser. Oh, that is to align it to make sure it's straight and flush with the uh, like front of the laser, but also it pushes the board back a little bit because our engraving goes on the bottom right-hand corner and it helps the laser get a better focus if it's closer to the camera lens. Science. Science. Can I make a friendly observation? Sure. Uh, so I'm noticing you're staying busy, which is good. Very busy. But it would probably be faster if you did all the boards one step at one time. Probably. Because you're going, you're running from the laser to the computer to the boxes to the boards to the finish and back and then putting on and off gloves. Like you're staying yeah. busy because you're trying to wait on the laser, but I right. think it would be faster if you just like did all of one step at one time. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you can work ahead while the laser's printing, but yeah, I can do, do one thing What for I all. should be doing is I should be doing all the labels at the same time I'm doing the laser because it's all computer work. And then after that, I can hop on finishing. And, and your letters too. You got to do your handwritten and letters. And handwritten letters. Because the way you're doing it now, I can just see you throwing the wrong board in the wrong box with the wrong letter. What? <laughs> Never. <laughs> then what was I hearing you screaming yes. about this morning? Oh, that was something else. What that did you was, forget? I, it was, I didn't forget anything. It was just a weird bad focus and the logo on the back of the board engraved like too high and then oh. it crossed over. Yeah. Oh, well. Throw it through the drum sander, it'll be fine. Look at that a little piece of some white crinkle paper got mixed in with the black. Perry, I told you I needed three more boxes. What are you, what's taking so long? So we got a little bit of a problem. The glow forest started to fill up with smoke. It normally does that and it clears out, but it was way more smoke 
Smork. Way more smork than usual. So what we're gonna do is, I mean, you can tell it's really dirty in here. I mean, this this is our newer Glowforge. This is fogged up. And we, I mean, honestly, we've done more with this Glowforge than we did with the other ones. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna try to find the little fan that blow. There's two fans. There's one that blows exhaust out the back and out the window. And then there's another one that blows chips and smoke out of the way of the laser beam. And I think that's the one that's not working. So we're gonna take it apart, clean it, blow it out with compressed air. Cause that's what I found a guy on YouTube did. Uh, so yeah. Okay. The very nice man on YouTube said, slide this to the middle. That sound scares me. Yeah, it doesn't sound. Anyway, so I'm gonna tilt this back, pop it off. And then I'm gonna take the belt off. This is a new type of filming. <laughs> hey, should we put this on the OnlyFans? <laughs> no clockwise. So apparently this part is spring loaded. So it's meant, it, this is all supposed to happen. You're supposed to clean this, what, every 20, 30 hour? I don't know, the manual probably tells you. Yeah, what say you? All right, so we're supposed to grab this, grab this. Wait for it. Pull forwards, oh, it is spring loaded. And then this just drops out. Oh, nice. Oh, well, there's your problem. Wait, let me focus. Whoa. That's why it ain't blowing air. It's so... It's clogged. It's caked. So we're just going to go ahead and blow this out, and then we're going to clean out this entire box down here because it's getting pretty dirty, so... dirty it was in there. We're doing a lot more engraving with this machine than we did with the other yeah. one. Yeah. So is this like upkeep? We need to do this now? Every Yeah, I'll you check know, the manual to weeks. see how long they recommend it, but uh, yeah, this will have to go in the tool manual of how often to clean this, but these are from Jenny's ears last night. Yeah, right. Ew. Alright, I think that's good enough. Look at it, it looks so much better. Yeah. Can we see a little vent on the back? Nice. Well, that's where the air blows out. Yeah. And you gotta be careful to not let this hit your workpiece. Yep. Underneath, so that's why we use different spaces underneath the cutting board to make sure that this doesn't whack into the cutting board. <laughs> 
But on the bright side, this did happen on the last board of board day. So we got like all our other boards finished. So we're really only down one board. And then if maybe if we get time later this afternoon, I'll do this last board and then we'll be all caught up. So not too big of a deal. Learned something new and it didn't disrupt the process too badly. Uh, it's a win-win in, in my book. Here we go. So be very careful to spray the paper towel. You don't want to spray in here. Break it down for the people on the interwebs. Why do you not spray it in there? Because there's electrical pieces in here. Electricity and, I mean, I know it's alcohol, but there's water in the alcohol and those things don't get along too well. Ew, I just want to see that paper towel when you're done. Is it going to be bad? Probably. How bad is it? Oh, well, that's not too bad. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. You don't need to see through the glass. It's just fun. It's just fun? It's just fun. Pretty sure that's not just fun. That's their number one marketing campaign, but okay. I mean, that is a smart design to put glass on the top, not only because you can see what's being cut, but like the nice big window to make sure that, that people taking video and stuff. They know, plus like their logo is right in the middle. Too, right, so. that's why they did that. So that when people are taking time lapses, it's like, hey, they're gonna tag us, they're gonna share it, people are gonna know what it is. What if we put our sticker on top of that? I ain't getting paid to use Glowforge. I'm paying them. <laughs> For two lasers. Two lasers. Look how much better that looks already. Dusty, not dusty, dusty. I don't know if this is bad for the laser tube. We'll find out. I hope not. I ain't worried about it. If it is, I'm sure we'll hear about it in the comments for days I and just days. like to see the purple laser go bzz, bzz, through the tube. <laughs> now you have to put it all back together. Let's hope it goes back together easier than it came apart. Oh, it came apart pretty easy. So, let me get this all straight first. Ooh. Clip that guy in first. sure to put the belt on. <laughs> okay, it looks like a rabbit. And when you pull it out, see the little two eyeballs and the rabbit ears? Oh yeah. Tee -hee. Did you find your, did you find your wrench? I did. Uh, yeah, this will be nice and we can put it back on a table again. Yeah. So I don't know how tight to do this. How tight did it feel when you took it off? I didn't feel it. <laughs> You didn't, have, you didn't take a completely subjective measurement? Because it does glide pretty easy. It does. As long as it just doesn't strip a, strip a gear or nothing. Yeah, that's the thing is like, let's start loose and then test it out on some plywood. Oh, I touched the lens. Can you give me a little <gasps> alcohol wipe? You touched the lens? Yeah. Bear Grylls over here opening his lens wipe. I don't think Bear Grylls eats chicken fingers in the wild and needs a moist towelette. By the time I get this thing unfolded, it's all going to be dirty. What do you do? Cleaning the lens. Oh. So when I first put this thing together, I was raving about how well it was put together and thought out for the user to take apart and put together. I stand by that. Like these magnets letting this line up, like this is the most critical part is the laser head. And they got software to center it and magnets to index it. It's just a really, really nice system. Looks smooth to me. All right, let's test it out now. Riveting stuff here. What do you mean riveting? That's exciting. I just took the whole thing apart, snapped it back together, and it's perfectly fixing itself. I'll let you guess the letter first. Should we test it on another piece or just No, go I think we should test it on another piece, honestly. Because what's if we do it on this little thing of plywood? Nah, I'm confident. Oh my gosh. I'm feeling good today. Oh. All right, moment of truth. Let's do it. Let's try it out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. <gasps> what? I didn't even see it. What happened? Oh, it was yellow. Oh, that's no bueno. It stopped. 
Your assist fan is not running at the correct speed. Try reseating your printer head following these steps. Ooh, steps. All right, we're trying it again. So are we focusing right now? That's yep. what's happening? Okay. It's focusing the laser head on the cutting board. And then I'll just try the design again. It said last time that the, um, the fan we just blew out with compressed air wasn't spinning at the right speed. So I don't know what that means, but I followed their troubleshooting instructions and we'll see if that helps. Hey. Oh, that's so much better. I didn't realize that's where all that smoke was coming from. So you can't really see it on camera, but there's smoke being pushed forward this way. You can maybe see it. You can see it a little on the plastic blue box. Awesome. Anyway, so all of that, uh, all of that smoke you saw was just like slowly floating up because the fan wasn't blowing it out of the way. So it's been doing that for a while. Um, I like, I think that's what caused all of the glass to fog up and everything. So anyway, now we know that we need to clean that and, uh, yeah, crisis averted. Yay. Again, but even if it was a bigger problem, that's why we have two, two. glow forges because we get it. Things happen. This glow forge is really well built, but I mean, they're going to break at some point. So, um, that's why we have two. And if this became way more complicated, okay, we just run to the storage unit, grab the other one and, uh, keep Plug printing. It in. Get engraving. But it's hard because the Glowforge, like, it's, if you need to buy another one, it's a specialty product. Every product that we sell right now gets personalized in some way. Yeah. And we can't operate a business if we don't have a backup for this I laser. I mean, that's our selling point, too, is that it's personalized, so. Right. So, anyway, uh, I guess we'll finish up board day. Board day! It's board day! Happy board day. Happy board day. All right. Well, how many boards were we supposed to do today? So we uh, were supposed to do seven. So weekly we send out seven boards just to new people. And then on top of that, I had to fulfill two from an existing client. So a total of nine boards. And we got eight done because one of our other boards um, we built, we realized it had a crack in the end grain that we didn't realize. And uh, we want to either fill it with epoxy or not use it if we can't fix the crack. We ended up sending out six boards to new people and two for the existing client. But we're getting through all of the old, really thick boards. I think we've got yeah. two or three left and then we can go back to the thinner boards that um, we can make a lot more of a lot faster. So Right. That's like the thickness we started with. And, and save on shipping costs too, because yeah. those thicker boards weigh more, so we pay more in shipping. So once we tell the UPS store that the box is thinner, or I guess the board thinner. is thinner, the board is thinner, lighter. the box is lighter, so we don't have to pay as much in shipping. So anyway, that was board day. Board day. So if you want to see our business journey since the beginning, click here. If you want to use some of the tips and tricks that we learned to maybe start your own business, click here.